So guys, for the first method, you wanna head over to search and type in services. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on any service one time and then click on W on your keyboard. Now you want to find Windows Update. We're gonna scroll down till we find Windows Update. Here it is, you wanna double click on it. You wanna make the startup type automatic and then click on start, which will then make the service status running and then click on okay. Now you wanna click on restart. You want to restart the Windows Update service. See if that works for you. If that's still not working, then for the second method, you wanna head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on other troubleshooters. And now you want to find Windows Update. Click on run. And now this will come up, the Windows Update troubleshooter. Wait for this to load. And then once that's been done, if it detects anything, it will try to fix it for you. See if that works. If that's still not working, then for the last method, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Now, you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you wanna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. And now you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm gonna skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that's been done, we're now gonna type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. And then click on enter again. You now want to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. And then once you complete both those scans, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.